Sarah Duquesne woke slowly and stretched, curling her bare toes on the concrete. She knew the military personnel had went into the freezer fully clothed with weapons at hand, but herself and most of the civilians she'd spoken to had opted for pyjamas. She cracked her neck and reached back into her pod for her clothing to change into as she activated her implant. Two, she sent out the silent call to the AI that ran all of Terra Nova's infrastructure. Yes, Doctor, the AI replied instantly. How long has it been? She asked with a yawn. General McComb has not as of yet declassified that information, Doctor. I'm sorry. However, I believe he has done so in order to debrief you and your colleagues in person. Sarah stifled another yawn. Theodore McComb. She'd read his file before going under. She pulled it back up and gave it a quick glance as she shucked her PJs and got dressed. She dropped her shoe when dressing and it echoed. That snapped her out of her sloth and she looked around. Two? Where is everyone? Still in stasis, Doctor, the AI replied. Why? What is the terraformer status? That information will be covered by General McCone's briefing. Where is my husband? She demanded. Professor Dukan is not present in the facility. According to my logs, he did not enter stasis, and in fact there was a message from him to you in the databanks. She froze. Let... Let me see it. Of course, Doctor. Shall I engage privacy mode? I... I don't know, too. She took a breath. Depending on what was happening, the AI may need to be aware of what was said to monitor her psychological state. Mark this time count, after the General's briefing. I may have you purge this event per privacy regulations. Of course, Doctor. Two replied smoothly, as a play button appeared to float before Sarah's eyes. It wasn't a hologram, just her implants inserting the image into her visual cortex. She whirled the button pressed for her implant, and an image of Charles appeared, well dressed as usual, only he had a carry all slung over his shoulder. Hi, Sarah. Look. God, I'm such a coward. I waited until they put you in before I recorded this. I signed the papers this morning. I know we were doing so much better in cancelling. The war. And you volunteer for the ZD project. I can't do it. I can't wake up a billion years later and rebuild Terra Nova. I'm boarding a refugee ship in an hour. The militia is still providing escorts and most of the ships are making it out. I love you. I just can't go with you. I'm sorry. I didn't even have the courage to be a widower. I'm just another divorcee. Farewell. The message ended. Two... Her implant voice was very small. Did his ship make it? Affirmative, Doctor. A new voice spoke up. Dr. Duquesne, are you okay? General McComb announced his presence. She realised she was weeping. Sorry, General. My husband... My ex-husband left me a message. It... It hurt. She began to dry her tears. The General nodded. I'm sorry, Dr. Duquesne. Do you need a few moments? Yes, thank you, she replied. He nodded again as he stepped around her and continued towards the conference room. Doctor, if you wish, I can have Guy replay the briefing to your implant so you can attend via cyber. She shook her head. No, General. I'd rather have some people around me. Just, just let me clean up a moment. As you wish. We will wait on you.